hello welcome or welcome back so today i'm gonna be talking about all the things that i've made since either july or august i can't really remember until like up to this point so early december i wasn't able to make as much things as like i had planned to but you know what that's okay usually when i'm holding up this pile it's like really really big but it's okay to work slowly sometimes too and this is what i always say to like other people where like if you are like feeling busy or if you don't have that much time to work on crocheting and like knitting like don't be so hard on yourself i know there are like some people who literally have 10 like finished projects in like one month or something like that was never me and i know for a fact that i felt like a little rushed to like make a lot of things in a short period of time too but like after kind of like working on my own pace you know i've been more so accepting of the fact that it's okay if i work work like slower than other people and if you work slower than me that's totally fine as well in my opinion you know it doesn't really matter how much you make within like a period of time but anyway, this is everything that I made these past few months. I think it's a total of five items. So I made around like one item per month. And yeah, this is what it is. So we're going to start with my Nina top. And I think I actually already included this in my last video, but I had to like remake parts of this for like my pattern and stuff. So I guess I can show you once more especially since the pattern just now got published even though I literally made this design like half a year ago but yeah it's my Nina top so as you can see this is like a milkmaid style top if you look up close with the details there's like scallops around the neckline and along the sleeves and I haven't woven in this end yet I need to do that though and then there are frills on the very bottom and it has like a lot of features of like milkmaid tops that I like just kind of combined into like one so I have that button front and the ruched neckline and if you like the fold over neckline by the way of my first Nina top I have that in the pattern I, I give you like so many options in the pattern you can kind of like make your own sort of like milkmaid top but yeah it was really fun making this top i really really love this and i know for sure i'm gonna be wearing this in so many different outfits and stuff so next up i have these leg warmers i actually have a whip of a different type of leg warmer going on right now that i'm planning on making a tutorial for later but currently these are the ones that i have done they're um knee high leg warmers and they're super cute i had this wool for a really really long time and i just like literally never ever like used it until now <laughs> so that's a, that's a, this is a good thing and i like extra things sometimes like so whenever i have like some kind of accessory i like kind of like decorating it because it just makes it look cuter in general and i really love like bows like i love putting bows on everything i think it's so adorable when people like take ribbon and just like tie it all over their clothes it's so such a good styling idea as well when your outfit just looks a little like plain if you're not a minimalist so i feel like these are the perfect addition especially since it is currently like when we're seasoned right now if you want to make one of these for yourself it's a pretty easy tutorial and it uses really beginner like friendly techniques so there's no such thing as like increasing decreasing anything like that i try to make it as simple as possible for you all to follow so if you want to make one of these for yourself you can because i have the tutorial on my channel right now all right next is this sweater so this is my stargazer sweater if you don't know i took the name from uki violetta because his fan base is called like stargazers and i feel like it fits really well too because when you gaze or when you look at something for too long sometimes it can kind of like make you disassociate or like kind of just like dizzy in a way and there's like a swirl in the center of the star so i felt like you know that that name was suitable as well but it's a pretty standard raglan sweater um the only difference is that i made this raglan sweater bottom up so you know rather than making the yoke part first so this top part with the collar i decided to start from the bottom work my way up and then attach the sleeves on from the actual like body of the sweater and if you're like curious about my process i also have a crochet with me video on my um, channel and i don't know if you can tell but if you look closely the white from the star and the um the ribbing and stuff they're like slightly miscolored like it looks like a little bit like green and like yellow in some areas and that is because the yarn 
colors from this variegated yarn like bled onto the white but i don't really mind i actually think that it just pulls the piece together more and then next up i have my prima pullover this was a pattern test that i did for starcross knits on instagram and i absolutely love this design so much it's so cute i have these clips right here just so that it keeps its like fold over collar and what i'm planning on doing actually is making some knitted eye cords and just like lacing it like down to the sides or the front part right here to kind of like hold the collar down because i don't want it to like move but i made an extra long collar you can't see while i'm holding it up right now but you'll be able to see it later obviously and it's so cute and cozy and like really warm i made this out of a, a 100 percent wool and it's really warm and it's like really good for when it's like colder outside but i'm so in love with this i decided to make extra long sleeves without the thumb holes but if you want thumb holes the pattern has thumb holes in it as well and i also made this curved front over here and you know what now that i'm looking at it like this it's actually really cute to wear it with like these two little like cat clips like i could totally wear it like this just with like the clips at the front over here and it would like look really really cute so that's an idea for next time so finally my last piece that i made and this is the one that i finished recently also is this skirt right here so freaking gorgeous it's really long so i have to like kind of pan it up and down for y'all to see the entire thing but it looks like that um it is called the flower drop skirt by yl studio on instagram and this is such a gorgeous skirt like i am in love with it like i'm not even really exaggerating i know some people are like oh my gosh i hate it when people are always so dramatic about things you know what let the girlies live let them be dramatic if they want to like sometimes i get dramatic over designs and i think that's okay so i opted for a smaller slit but i might actually open up the leg a little bit more so i might actually undo the um seaming up to the this square and kind of have a longer slit because i can walk in this like perfectly fine but i kind of want like more movement so that's kind of what i'm planning on doing but yeah the concept itself really reminds me of um those gardens with either those like lattice fences or like lattice like arches and they always look so dang beautiful like i'm always like so amazed and i like really really want to like visit some kind of botanical garden like one day because like i haven't done that like ever and so yeah this is what it reminds me of yeah so that was it um like i said i didn't like make that much this these past few months because i was like super busy but you know that's okay and i still had fun whenever i had like time to kind of like just sit down and like crochet your like knit so that was good i will see you all in my next video so for now bye bye